Hello everyone, my name is Desala, I'm a fashion designer and you are welcome to my channel! Okay guys, today I'm talking about what is ready to wear and why I chose ready to wear as my line of business. Okay, so I'm a fashion designer and I'm ready to wear fashion designer and um, basically what ready to wear means is it's a line of clothing that is made in specific measurements and sizes to fit um, certain body sizes without little or no alteration whatsoever and it's quite different from um, what we call ready-made and it's different also different from bespoke, bespoke and made to measure ready to wear is usually limited pieces and they're not mass produced ready-made is usually mass produced and sold usually in bigger bigger shops mass produced you have all these um big high street brands abroad doing mass produced um clothing and um yeah so that is the difference between ready to wear and ready made ready to wear you have a few pieces they they are made to um, certain sizes without little or no alteration whatsoever and um, there are a few pieces in number and then we go to the bespoke or made to measure made to measure is um, made for for someone to is made to a particular body size a particular body measurement so this particular um, garment that has been made fits this particular person fits their bust fits their waist fits their hips fits every part of that it is made specially and specifically for that person so yes so i'm i'm gonna be looking down because i had I wrote down some notes because today is like uh, a little little um, lecture kind of so um, I wrote down little notes and um, why I chose ready to wear so from the beginning of my business I never really you know started out saying that I wanted to be ready to wear I did I think when I even started I didn't even know what ready to wear was I just knew I wanted to be in the fashion business and that was what I wanted to do and I just jumped into the ocean and just started swimming and I found myself doing ready to wear so yes um, when I started I started making made to measure custom clothes for people and um, there were times where I wouldn't have a lot of clothes to make for people and I had tailors that I had to pay at the end of the month so instead of them sitting down idle, I would get fabric, design something, and ask them to make it. And when they made it, I would display them in my shop. I had a very tiny rack, and people, when they bring the clothes for to be sewn, they would see the ready-to-wear pieces, and they'd say, oh, I like this, I like this, I like this. And from there, that, that was how it started. Later on, when people brought their clothes, they would say, oh, I like this ready-to-wear piece. Make this for me in my fabric. And then I would do that. And later on, I realized that, you know, this ready-to-wear by making, people actually really, really like it. And I said to myself, why don't you buy my ready-to-wear? Why do you want me to make it for you with your own fabric? Because most of the time when I make it with other people's fabric, it doesn't come out as well. Because when I start the design, I already have the design in my head. I already have what the end product will look like in my head. So not necessarily and with my own fabric, not necessarily with your own fabric. So I would tell them that, you know, buy the ready to wear if that's what you really like and at the same time i saw that you know some people were taking advantage of the fact that you know i was new and i didn't really know anything i wasn't i was i, I wasn't enlightened in any way so they were taking advantage of me and then they would bring so many fabric like bag like a whole big bag of fabric and tell me oh make this design for me 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 
and initially I would oblige and just go ahead and do it but one day I got really really upset because a lady came to my shop and she brought a massive bag when I say a massive bag I mean a massive bag of fabric and asked me to make all the pieces on my rack and when I gave her the price she said no she's not gonna pay for the price she's not gonna pay the price I was giving her because she was bringing a whole bag load of fabric so she's gonna pay this amount of money she didn't even ask me she just said this is what I'm going to pay and you have to accept it you know in this business you know I witnessed a lot of bullying so much bullying especially when I first started so yes that was the turning point for me and I told that woman I'm not doing it I'm not going to do it you know I've not come here to open a charity shop you know the lady insulted me got really really pissed off with me and then she left my shop I lost a customer but that experience opened my eyes and I said no more and it was at that point I realized that I had a gift and I need to realize that I have this gift and I need to capitalize on this gift and that was how I started my ready to wear journey so I did start doing more ready to wear because I saw that the demand was there so I started doing more ready to wear and less custom clothes as time went on I phased out custom or made to measure clothes and I went ahead to do ready to wear which is what I do till this day now my ready to wear journey has had you know it's different challenges like every other thing and every other business that you do in this life and one thing I always you know say when people come and meet me and say oh ready to wear is so easy and I think to myself oh really you think it's very easy well ready to wear is very easy if you know what you're doing and I can say that a lot of people don't know what they're doing. I think it is fantastic if you go into someone's shop that sews ready to wear and you pick up a piece and you wear it and the thing fits to the dress fits you perfectly. No alteration, no nothing. Even if there's any alteration, maybe just a tiny little bit. I think that is amazing. And I've experience people who also do ready to wear and they don't they, 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 their sizing is not even it at all you wear it and it's looking very off so yes ready to wear is not necessarily a ball in the park you need to do your homework you need to do what it entails and what it entails is so much more than you know making beautiful pretty clothes so yeah going to my next um, point I'll be discussing <laughs> discussing today which is um, pros of ready to wear so okay the pros of ready to wear I can say that um, since I started ready to wear is, um, is very flexible and the other reason why I also started ready to wear was because of my children especially my daughter when I had only one child it gave me the flexibility to attend to her being a very new business a very new and a very very small business I needed that flexibility to be able to take care of my daughter the way I was supposed to so ready to work gives you that flexibility unlike make to measure the customer always wants you most of the time they always need you you know consultation style fitting and all that kind of good stuff but with ready to wear when you come whether you see me or you don't see me it's not really a big deal you know you come in you see what you want you try it it fits and you pay and you go and you don't actually have to see me and that is very good in the last couple of years I know my customers majority of them in fact all of my customers I, I I don't really know them in person 
but I know them by name because especially, especially when they repeat customers and along the line I've come to like meet some of them in person for example when I'm in the shop and they come in and we happen to meet by chance which is usually very nice you know it's nice to see a customer it also gives me a chance to know you know this is who my customer is and also helps me in designing for them apart from flexibility it gives you um, opportunity to test different things play around you know just really really test things basically so yes that's one of the things that um, I think is a pro in ready to wear and one of the cons in ready to wear is that um, in ready to wear if you don't know who your market is or your target audience Honestly, you're going to struggle a lot. When I first started, I was really young and I thought maybe people that, pe people that were going to patronize me and be the majority of my customers were going to be young girls like me. But it turned out that they were not. It turned out that they were more mature women that were my target audience and I didn't know that immediately it took time for me to know that and understand that the thing is a lot of people say oh you need to know what target audience is you know you need to know this 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 sometimes you know from from the get-go you know who your target audience is but sometimes your target who you think your target audience is may not necessarily be your target audience it happens a lot it's happened to me and in this business you know I came into this business not really knowing anything and I have, I have had to learn literally everything the hard way that is the reason why I'm able to start this channel and talk about ready to wear and talk about clothes you know the way I do I have the confidence that I have that experience another um, Corner of ready to wear is that um, you need money you need a lot of money because what is the point of doing ready to wear and someone comes into your shop and you just have a few pieces of clothing hanging on your rack you know I've been to stores like that before and honestly I've been so pissed off extremely pissed off ready to wear involves money ready to wear consumes money when you are doing ready to wear when your rack is full that is money hanging Mo your money is hanging and looking at you in the face and when it's looking at you in the face it's very scary because at that point in time everything inside you is ready to fight ready to do the work and make those clothes go off that rack and do the next thing and when those clothes go off that rack you know what those clothes, the money can't go into your pockets. There's an overhead that needs to be taken care of. You have your staff that you have to pay. You have your money that you have to keep aside for your rent. That's if you have a shop. And then you now have, you now need money to, for your tailoring supplies and fabric and all those nice stuff then before you start thinking of yourself. So yes, if you're going to run a ready to wear business, forget about, you know, <laughs> paying yourself some salary for some time. And the thing is that when you get to that point where your business starts doing well and you start making all that money, a lot of people just want to just splurge and do this and, you know, it's advisable to see how you can expand the business, how you can do better, not just stay in one place. Because the thing is, fashion is evolving. Fashion evolves. And whoever is watching my video, this is Lagos. <laughs> fashion doesn't stand in one place. Fashion moves. What is in today is out tomorrow. So, fashion moves. So you need to be on top of your game and make yourself as relevant as you possibly can. Because if you are known today, tomorrow you may be forgotten, right? 
so yes i hope you've um, enjoyed my video today if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get um, a notification when i release my new videos and um what else when i release my videos and I think I will see you next week. Bye!